I'll be back. That's right, folks. If you have not yet heard, or, or you're not ready for this, Skynet is coming. They're coming. They're, they're going to get us. Uh, according to Business Insider, if we're the first to break this news to you, we're very sorry. But a rogue killer drone hunted down a human target without being instructed. Skynet is real, man. It's coming, man. What are we going to do, man? Wait, if we're reporting this, doesn't that mean we're going to be hunted down next? we got to warn the people, man. You gotta warn the people. Game over, man. Game over. Oh my god. So, uh, let's get I've into the story. I've never even had sex yet. Oh my god. <laughs> you sweet virgin. Uh, where was this? Uh, so let's find out. Let's go in. Apparently, it was in Libya. Oh my god, that's a country. That it's still a country. Yes. Really? And experts are sounding the alarm about the lack of regulation around using killer robots. Oh, I totally forgot. I'll, I'll bring up another article maybe uh, towards the end of this. Just to give people an idea of what else is coming. I might just mention it, but a lethal weaponized drone hunted down a human target without being told to do so, likely for the first time, according to a UN report seen by The New Scientist. I'm going to assume that's a magazine or some sort of thing. I'm still confused as to where Libya is. <laughs> that's not Libya, right? Mm-mm. No, that's different. It is also, you You will not find, I know you have difficulty finding I the Libya. I cannot find that either. Mm-hmm. Or the clitoris. Oh, Jesus. So hard. I am the clit commander. <laughs> I'm doubtful. <laughs> uh, so it, there was a March 2020 incident where a Karga 2 quadcopter autonomously attacked a person during a conflict between the Libyan government forces and a breakaway military faction led by the Libyan National Army's Khalifa Haftar, the Daily Star reported. The Turkish-built Karga-2, a deadly attack drone designed for asymmetrical warfare oh and anti-terrorist operations, targeting one of the Haftar's soldiers while he tried to this retreat so unsafe so let's just show an advertisement because i was curious what does a carga 2 rotary wing attack drone look like it sounds like a bird it's probably not it's probably one of those things that you could just buy and put in your backyard wow, that looks like a normal drone that you take nudes of your neighbors with except it will kill you so it kills your neighbors once you've once they once find you've you. gotten their nudes. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it finishes them they off. They can't call the cops if they're dead. Yeah, look, look, it's for precision. I mean, that literally looks like one you could buy out of a hobby shop. Yeah, it doesn't look any. Oh, different. look at this! There, it's armed with detonation range. Oh my god, it's going in for the kill. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, it didn't wait. even hurt anybody. What did it do? It I, like it flung up. it. It blew it. Oh, maybe it did do some damage. Looks like it was, I guess it blew itself up. That seems like an expensive way to do so it's damage. it's a kamikaze drone pilot. Yeah, look, those guys may have been injured or may not. That was a little underwhelming, I'm that, not going to lie. <laughs> well, apparently this this one was de uh, directed to detonate on impact, operating in a highly effective autonomous zone that requires no human controller. Ah, uh, yes, well... So they're suicide They don't need bombers. data connectivity. I don't know. I guess it just decided on its own it was going to kill somebody. So, I don't know. Are are you scared? Uh, not after that. I mean, I could probably take one of those hits. Like, but this is just the beginning. Skynet. Please. It, the Skynet doesn't. The slow mo. This isn't the fast Skynet. This is the slow Skynet. I mean, if it was from a country that was real, I'd be scared. But Libya, like, eh. I do know that Hillary Clinton may have gone there, and she may have. Oh, is that where Benghazi made sure happened? Gaddafi, yes, and Gaddafi may have been the leader of Libya, and is, he got knifed in the Anus. Is that where Epstein took the children? No, I hope not. No, not Libya. I hope not. Is that in Africa? Libya? Yeah. I. Good question. I think so. Okay. Oh, that was a serious question. That was a geographical in, uh, inquisition. Oh, I was more interested in the fact that they, the Libyan Prime Minister ordered Operation Peace Storm. That's a, yeah, that's a little that bit of a... That saw un uh, unmanned combat aerial vehicles used against the Haftar-affiliated forces. That's pretty interesting. 
Um, they're oh. saying they were retreating, and then the uh, the unarmed combatant vehicles continued to go after them lethally. I want to see a little bit bigger sample size. Like, go after some live militant people and actually have some success. Well, uh, this is the article that I did not pull, but apparently the... Um, I'll just get rid of that dress right there. Uh, the cartels have been using <laughs> drones against people as well. I guess they've been using drones to deliver drugs across the border wall. That makes sense. And then they've also been using them against their, their rivals and uh, I guess just to terrorize people in, ge in general. So as drones get bigger and badder, I mean, I will say I went to the Smithsonian one time and I saw a Predator drone. And I, you know, I thought it was like, you know, those backyard drones that you're just like, ah, whatever. Like that unimpressive drone that we yeah. just saw. No, the Predator drone is the size of a plane. And it flies by itself Yeah, that's and kills the one people. that drops actual like missiles. missiles. Yeah, it's crazy. These drones aren't dropping missiles. Yeah, but the military had the Predator drones like freaking 20 years ago. What do they have now? They weren't autonomous though. If there's an autonomous predator drone, then yes, I'm moving to Libya and hiding under a bunker. Okay, so you're going to move to a Libyan bunker and just be done with it. Yeah. Predator drones are scary. Yeah, I agree. That's why I was saying I saw one in person and I was like, holy crap, it's yeah. huge. They are big and dark. And they're going to get us. So fly under the we radar. tried to warn you about the aliens. Now we're warning you about the drones. It's all downhill from here, folks. And I'm warning you about my syphilis. Do you don't want to get that either. Nobody so stay away that. from Noob Noob. Stay away from the drones. Stay away from the cartels. It's all bad news, folks. Don't it's stay all bad away news. from our YouTube channel, though. Just please give us a like and subscribe. If you want to hear more content about drones and more content about aliens, and what we actually do is review movies and, and other fun and things. And if you don't, we're sending Karga 2 after you. We're going to get a Karga 2 out of our local radio shack, if those still exist. And we're going to bring it. We're going to bring the noise. And if we don't have the money for that, we're sending a cockatoo. Because <laughs> you don't want to take care of that, do you? They, they're they annoying. <laughs> they poop they're everywhere. Little, they're chirpy. They're cute. But do you have the fiscal responsibility to take care of that? No, probably They live not. like 40 to 60 years. Do you have the fiscal responsibility to take care I'd of that cockatoo? I'd rather just subscribe to our channel. So I, is it a cockatoo or is it a cockatiel? Which one lives longer? I Whichever one lives the longest, we're going to send to you. Exactly. So like, subscribe. And um, keep an eye out for the next one because we're on to the next one.